Good morning, Full Sail University. My name is Elvis Gonzalez, and I'm currently living in the island of Oahu. For my topic, I, I'm trying to discuss DSLR cameras. Because I think DSLR cameras have revolutionized uh, the film industry. DSLR topic. First, I want to identify uh, the kinetoscope, which is an early motion picture exhibition device. Uh, it's a strip of film uh, moving over uh, a light source. And um, you can see it. Uh, it's not a projector, but you can see the, uh, the character, the animation happening through a peephole. But uh, it was only uh, limited to one person that can see it. So before I go any deeper, first I want to explain that it went from film to uh, analog and then now into the digital world. Uh, analog came around in 1954. Unfortunately, the only people that had access to these analog cameras were movie studio systems. The normal consumer, the normal person, couldn't even afford one of these uh, analog cameras. So, so in 1980, Sony came out with a uh, Video 8. Uh, this is a camcorder that was dedicated for the uh, everyday consumer or the uh, on the low end budget. Uh, so with the uh, beginning of the digital era, uh, in 1999 uh, came the uh, first uh, digital camcorder. Uh, it's uh, branded by uh, Hitachi. Now the only downfall to these camcorders is that they only had one lens. Uh, you couldn't switch out lenses. Ambitions were limited, but for the job that you needed, you know, to record family events. And Even though digital cameras can be traced uh, since 1969 by the inventor of William S. Boyle, uh, it wasn't until uh, the early 2008 that uh, that Nikon released the D90, which had the option to uh, to do video. And after Nikon came out with the D90, I consider this the uh, the beginning of the digital cinematographer. So now you need to understand the difference between a camcorder and a DSLR. Uh, a DSLR was more catered for taking pictures, and the secondary option was video. Versus a camcorder, which its sole purpose is video, and its more and its features are more catered to uh, shooting video and options. If you were to shoot video with the DSLR, this is what a uh, basically what it will look like if you accessorize it. You know, another thing that you have to do is you have to buy an external microphone. You need to attach all this stuff to your camera and basically run with it. Now the good thing to this is that basically it's up to your creativity. You can you're limited to how creative you are. Uh, you can do small projects uh, that may look expensive, but uh, it was done on a budget. You know you can do a horror movie uh, on a budget. You know and not spend thousands thousands of dollars like movie or studio system. Uh, and the outcome is just uh, basically to your imagination.